as a farmer, you have to know a little bit about being an electrician, a little bit about being a plumber, a little bit about being a mechanic, you know, and you're also a, a horticulturist and a, you know, a gardener and all these things that you have to learn. And it kind of gives you confidence to, to do things like build a distillery. It was really important for me the way that I grew up because we fixed old tractors and we built wagons and we did all this stuff that really allowed me to build a distillery but also learn how to operate it and have, be confident about it. My name is Ashley Frey and I'm the co-founder of Frey Ranch Distillery with my husband Colby. We grow all the wheat, rye, barley and corn that are in all of our spirits. We even malt our own barley right here on site. We always say that we're farmers first. Colby's a fifth generation Nevada farmer. He grew up on this farm. My family actually got some of the first deeded property in Nevada, and we've been continually farming ever since. It was 1854 when we originally settled, so we've been continually farming in Nevada since 10 years before it was even considered a state. Ash and I were, were looking at each other and saying, we know that our grains are extremely high quality. We thought, what better way to showcase our grains than to make it into whiskey? We are near Lake Tahoe and a lot of the water that flows to our valley is that we call Sierra Snowmelt and so we're irrigating our crops with this amazing quality of pristine water. That's where our process starts. Our distillery and our whole process starts a lot before most distilleries that are just buying grain on the open market. We know exactly the growing conditions and how the grains were grown, how many times they were irrigated. We know that there was no pesticides sprayed on them. We know that our corn is a non-GMO variety. We're starting with a better quality grain. Everything happens right here. We call it from ground to glass. We have total control, you know, from the seed selection, the irrigation technique, everything on the farm, and then also in the distillery. And so when Ashley's in the tasting room, she loves to tell people that None of the ingredients have ever left our possession until you take them home. You know, right upstairs in the fermentation room, they cook the grains, they ferment them, and they distill them right here on site. We mill it, we mash in, so we're cooking the grains, which has a lot of starch, so we cook that grain, and we break that starch into fermentable sugars. We ferment it, so we're creating alcohol during the fermentation cycle. Then we distill out the alcohol in the distillery. When the alcohol comes off the still, it's crystal clear. You know, a lot of people don't realize how clear it is when it comes off the still. And then we put it in the barrel. All of its color and a lot of its flavor comes from the barrel. And so that's why aging is so important for bourbon. At five years old, we will pull down the barrels. We taste through every single barrel that that we feel. The other really important thing to us as a farm is be good to the land and the land will be good to you, you know, and it's really important because I want to pass this farm to my kids in as good or better condition than I received it in. And so to do that, we got to take really good care of the climate. We got to take really good care of our soil and our farm. And if you don't, then we don't have a future. I mean, if, if we destroy the farm today, we're not going to have a crop tomorrow. We feel like we're one of the most sustainable distilleries in the country, and we didn't design it that way in mind. It just kind of happened, you know? For example, all of our byproducts that come off the still, the liquids are very acidic, and our ground here is slightly on the alkaline side, and so by putting this acidic liquid in the back on the field, we're actually able to help balance our pH to grow a better crop. Just that fact that we're not trucking in grains from the Midwest. I mean, they're literally grown steps away from the distillery. And when we irrigate all of our crops, they're all flood irrigated. They're not pumped out of the ground. We're not using electricity. We open up a gate and we flood the fields. We're kind of this little ecosystem here that, that I'm really just proud of. One of my favorite things about our product besides the liquid inside is the packaging. We wanted every part to shine and every part to kind of take you back to this place of what is Frey Ranch. When you look at the topper, it's in the shape of a bolt and we really drew inspiration from things that we see here on the farm. The color of the label, we drew the color inspiration from the corn that grows here on the farm. Um, this is an ear corn that we grew. This, this corn is you know, the majority of what goes into our bourbon. 
When you look at the shape of the label itself, it wraps all the way around. This really mimics a belt buckle that Colby's grandfather passed on to his dad and uh, Colby's dad passed on to Colby. And I know that it was a belt buckle that his grandfather wore all the time. I think my grandpa would really like to see what we're doing today because he was all about innovation. He was all about forefront. He wanted to see the farm succeed. And I think that this is a way that we can see the farm succeed and be able to pass it on to future generations. We're hands-on founders. We are here every day. This is our life. It's our true passion and our real life story. And I love that we touch the product so much. I love that we're very hands-on. We work alongside our employees. That's very important for us to be here, to be transparent, authentic, and uh, to showcase our life in such a fun way.